everybody welcome back to another devotion of the day it's week nine and today um if you don't know me i'm mitchell mcdaniel i'm the son of chad and carrie and today um my dad asked me to do the devotion because he sadly can't be here um today um we were talking about the um, the woman at the well so if you didn't get to join us last night on a zoom call we sadly missed you and hope that you can join us next week. Um, let my dad or my mom know about information if you need it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. The verses are um, first or John 4. And we'll start in verse um, 5. And we'll go all the way to verse 30. I'm not going to read all of those. But I'm going to focus. I'm going to pick up in verse 7. So if you want to join with me. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone into the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks for a drink, you would have asked me, and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, You have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it itself, as did all his sons and his livestock? So the woman already, um, in verse 7 to 11 and 12, the woman was already testing Jesus. She was wary of what was going on with Jesus, and she was very confused as to why a Jew would even ask a Samaritan woman, and especially her, because she was an outcast. Um, Around this time, it was during the day, about noon, the heat of the day, according to our pastor um, last night, and it was very hot, and not a lot of women went during this time. They went in the early morning or in the early evening, and it was the best time to get water because it was cool. It was the best time to travel, and it was just the best. Um, sorry, but um, she wanted to be away from everybody else. She was an outcast to the society of the Samaritans, and she didn't want to see a lot of people because she knew she was wronged. And um, she felt alone during this time, and then this man asked her randomly, who was a Jew, for water. And she's very confusing, and he starts talking about living water. And it very deeply confuses her during this time, and she's trying to draw some information from him. So she continues on asking him about this living water. And then he answers in verse 13, uh, everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to her, sir, give me this water so that I may not get thirsty anymore and have to keep coming here to draw water. So. He starts to explain her, and she wants to find this draw, this connection to the living water that Jesus is explaining to her, and it keeps letting her come back. It's giving Jesus an opportunity to spread his message, which we need to do. And the woman is very interested, and she wants to learn because she's an outcast of society, and she wants to continue to gain in Jesus and she doesn't know that yet but she is um so it continues on he told her go call your husband and come back she said i have no husband jesus then said to her you are right when you say you have no husband the fact is you've had five husbands and the man you have now is not your husband what type what you have just said is quite true sir the woman said i can see that you are a prophet our ancestors worship on this mountain but you Jews claim that that place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus replied, Woman, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. So God has just directly influenced the woman and told her how that in the new time that there will be anywhere we can worship. And he directly hits home with saying, You have had five husbands and telling her past. To her and she's shocked at this realization that he could be a son of God that the Samaritans even the Jews were believing in and waiting to come the Messiah and she was deeply troubled so the question I want to pose to you tonight is what about the woman 
at the well can you relate to? What can we relate to about this woman who we want to strive for Jesus, we want to continue to grow in his word, find the living water, and then he reveals our past. And we want to go forward, but sometimes we just back up. We just don't want to have anything to do with Jesus. We just want to throw him to the side. We just want to continue to do our evil ways and be sinful, but we can't. It's not how this works. And Jesus just wants to open his arms up to us and say, here's the living water, here's my truth, but here's your past. Will you trust me to get rid of that past and let it go and continue to walk with me? So that's the question I pose to you tonight as we go through this devotion. I'm going to pray for us real quick, and I just hope that this time will be something to you. And I'll talk to you after the prayer. Dear God, I just thank you for this time to bring a devotion upon your word and that this word will affect many, many people. I pray that this time we will learn to use your living water, your word, to influence others to go grow closer to you, to deeply grow closer. I pray for everyone who listens to this devotion that they will not hear my words. They will only hear yours. I pray that this time of quarantine and social distancing and all this madness in our world will just continue to grow our relationship with us and with you. I just pray over everything that you've done for us and everything that you continue to do for us. I pray this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me tonight. I hope that Chad will be with us tomorrow. Um, check out our devotions for the rest of the week, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. It's love.